You have the prettiest baby in Port Charles. Or should I say handsome? Thank you. I wish you'd reconsider and let me put you and little Jacob Martin on the same show. Why are you interested in my son? I just moved from intensive care and we limited our visitors to family only. I was just telling Elizabeth how affecting it would be to show America how well the story of the pregnant nurse held hostage turned out. I mean, look at them, the image of happily ever after. You know what? My wife isn't interested. Would you respect our wishes? Well, no producer worth her salt ever takes no for an answer. Sam was thoroughly reticent when I first approached her about hosting Everyday Heroes. I refused to give up, and now look, she's a star. I don't really think that's the point. What part of no don't you understand? My wife doesn't want to be a star. We don't want our son on TV. Of course. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't mean to be insensitive. I just, um, I wish you all well. I really do. Nothing ambiguous about that. I think I upset the baby. No, I think Jake is fine. I just wonder what's going on with you. Why are you so upset with Amelia? It's not Amelia. I just I don't feel like I've done anything to protect you or his baby. Well, it's not as if you haven't tried. Trying doesn't count. It just kills me that I haven't been there when you and Jake needed a, me the most. Okay, I wish you didn't take that to heart, but I'm glad you said something because I've been feeling guilty myself. About what? You stood beside me my entire pregnancy. I took that for granted. I practically shoved you out the door and joked about you hovering. And then an hour later, I'm laying on the floor bleeding. I should have listened to you. All that matters is that Jason showed up in time. And you and our baby are safe. It's just selfish to be the one who wanted to save you. Lucky you save me almost every single day. The way you love me, the way you believe in me, it's my lifeline. You have to know, you are always my hero, and you're going to be Jake's hero, too. My boys are very fortunate to have you. Hi. Hi. Cold timing? No, 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 come in. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> Elizabeth, I have been avoiding the nursery all morning. I didn't want to find out the baby's name. Oh. Will you told us yourself? Well, Nicholas and Emily, meet Jacob Martin Spencer. Good, strong name. Suits him. What was your inspiration? I've always liked the name Jake, Jacob. And Martin was my maternal grandfather. He died when I was a little girl, but he's very special to me. Yeah, as soon as Elizabeth suggested that name, I knew it was a perfect fit for our son. I mean, he looks like a Jake, doesn't he? <laughs> well, I, I was going to say uh, Winston Churchill myself. Hey, but that's hey be careful. We're not going to ask you guys to be his godparents. Really? Are you serious? Yeah, who else would we ask? Wow. Well, I'd, I'd, I'd be honored. We'd be honored. So, that you, you will? Of course. Uh, I I'd love to, but, but won't Lulu be hurt? Well, after what happened last summer, it'd be a loaded subject for Lulu. Yeah. Okay, well then, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That gives me much peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Well, I need to get little Jake here back to the nursery. You want to go with me, Godfather? Oh. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go, little man. Hi. Oh, he's a perfect fit. <sighs> I'm 
so relieved that you and Jacob made it okay. Yeah. Well, it feels like all's right with the world. It is, isn't it? I mean, is everything okay with you, Nicholas? Yeah, Nicholas um, had a health scare, but he's all right. He felt like he had to push me away. Okay, so whatever happened with the whole Robin thing? Well, he and Robin uh, obviously chose a really uh, a goofy way to deal with their problems, but trust me, it's not going to happen again. I'm just glad that it's over and that you guys are back together mm -hmm. and that my best friend is going to be my baby's godmother. I'm proud and honored. He's such a beautiful baby boy. Hey, um, is it a coincidence that his initials are the same as Jason's? So after... I don't even know why I hold my son to happy hour I am. <laughs> Does this mean you've finally gotten over the disappointment of not having a little girl? I admit, I was afraid of how I'd be with the son because he was my dad. I mean, not that I don't love my dad, don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I mean, he was the biggest, the best, the most fun. Later on, we just really never quite recovered. And I went through the same thing with Spencer, but I just, I finally realized that if you have a choice, you can, you can either repeat history or just find another way, you know? Yeah, I just want my children to love me the way I love my dad. And if I can learn from his mistakes, too, then I'll be the father my children deserve. Jason and I shared something once, but whatever I feel for him, it's it's over. Sam, I love Lucky so much, it hurts. Can we please let this go? Yeah, no, of, of course. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. I just know that you always talk about how much you owe Jason, and I thought that maybe it was more than a coincidence. And I already told you that I, I like the name Jake, and I love my Grandpa Martin, and if J.M. happens to be the same initials as Jason's, then, then that's fine, but it wasn't my inspiration. So I will not bring up your history with Jason again, and I will spoil my godson beyond your wildest dreams. Deal? Deal. Okay, it's official. My brother is ecstatic to have father to son to follow in his footsteps. <laughs> I can't wait to take Jake home. Cameron is going to love his baby brother. No, I just want us all under one roof. Wow. Is this the Spencer baby? Hey. He looks just like his father. Are you a friend of the family? His father and I are close. These instructions need to be followed.